character. And it's very important that we understand we must come to God according to his plan or his protocol. Now the danger is having a zeal but not according to knowledge. The danger is not understanding the holiness of God and the protocol to come before God. Now how many knows that Yuza had good intentions? The, the ox stumbled and the cart was wobbling and he had good intentions. That's not good enough. It'll kill you having good intentions. We must go according to the divine order of God. Now he has made a way that man has access back to God. Our, our completeness is when we're joined back to him. We're not to be until there's a reconciliation of man back to God. And then man is the perfect expression of the invisible God. Oh, that we may understand that. Now, now let's go a little farther. He said in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the Word was made flesh and dwell among us. Now he came unto his own. He came to his own what for? To bring them back to God. Uh, 1 Peter 3 and 18. He died. Yeah, Jesus died for us. Why? The just for the unjust. What's it all about? That he might bring us to God. He died. Man separated from God. He desired to bring man back to God. So he comes to his own and they don't receive him. But as many as receive him. Now how do you receive him? He is the word. So you receive him. By receiving the word of God. Yeah. So he, said, he said to receive him is to accept him, to lay hold on this word of God. As many as received this word, he gave the ability to become. You were not immediately, but you had the ability to become a son of God. You have the option to be to come to the being of the Son. Somebody help me preach. Hallelujah. Now watch. Let's look at the story. Hallelujah. As we understand the Word of God, so many don't enjoy the fullness of the Spirit of God. We feel the Spirit. We feel the anointing. Oh, but there's so much more. Let's look at a picture. Hallelujah. In the book of Esther. Watch as this king. Now, now you've got to understand in Corinthians that the man wasn't made for the woman, but the woman was made for the man. And the woman is the glory of the man. Now you understand that the church, the bride, is the glory of Jesus. And she submits to his leadership as she yields to his will. He is manifest in his fullness with the New Testament bride that's bone of his bone and flesh of his flesh that's birth out of his very loins that he is the seed of God that produces the fruit of the spirit in its fullness in its perfection somebody say amen now watch what happens Ahasuerus is the king over all the land now and he has this feast to reveal his glory and his beauty at the apex of that feast he calls for Vashti to come because the woman is the glory of the man and he wants to the people to know the beauty of his bride oh can you hear the Holy Ghost calling you to be a revelation of the beauty of Jesus Christ to be one with him that the glory of the sun might shine through the bride of Jesus Christ and she submits to his leadership and she submits to his will and his purpose I don't know if I can take this or not praise God now bless you like some people refuses the beckoning of the king. Yeah. Oh, come. Come, Pastor. Sit with me as 
bless the world behold your beauty you are my glory and you are joined to me somebody say amen God forbid that we're like those in Isaiah that says oh, we want that name where the power is but we'll leave our own bread we'll wear our own apparel I can sure see that cause we're going naked ain't that somebody say amen Used to, we got our own way. This is a new day. 
generation. We ain't like that, amen. And they offered a strange fire. And the fire come out of the truth. You better watch how you walk. You better watch how you talk.
with this wonderful word. You may kiss the bride. Solomon said, let him kiss me with the kisses of his lips because his good ointment is poured into me. He wants to pour himself into his church. He wants to pour his power Yeah, you're fixing to get in trouble, honey. Hallelujah. You don't know him. That little 
night after I love this. Every night stern was come after she had been twelve months according to the manner of women, for so were the days of their purification comments. To wit, six months with first they got a reward six months, and then they got a big perfume six months. They draw out and get that stink out. Absolutely awesome. Tell somebody there's more. 
There's some more. Some more. Now those people that are over there in trouble and Haman's getting ready to kill them all. So you can't help anybody till you get to the king. Why do you think he said first thing seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all this I'll add the rest that to you. If you get up here you don't have to worry about anything else but you can't get up here until you listen to him now. You don't realize you have no conception of what this king can do. Those enemies you can't handle. Come on. Those problems you can't handle. Those afflictions. Those trials you can't handle. This guy's in charge, but what what's what he says? Then King Ahasuerus said unto Esther his queen. <laughs> Watch what he says. I, I would, I don't know you come in here and help me. Get your own lad up here. You'll have to stand down there. <laughs> and the king said, because he loved Esther, he said unto the queen, I have given Esther the house of Haman. He said, Esther, you don't have to worry about Haman anymore. I killed him. I took care of him. You know Jesus whooped the devil. Amen. Spoil principalities and powers. They no devil that wanted to kill you, destroy you, discourage you, oppress you, depress you. Jesus said, I took care of him. You ain't even dancing. Yeah. Oh, sure. well, I thought that was awesome. They said they hung him on a tree. Yeah. Now here's the one I'm waiting on. And y'all try to hold still if you can. Yeah. Right ye also for the Jews. Anything you like in my name 